Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrical. Uh, I really appreciate that. Now, uh, this uh, voltmeter and multimeter uh, that I have in my hands. Now, I did upload two videos, amateur and voltmeter, uh, working them on them on the bench. Okay? So, hope, you know, you understood, uh, you know, those videos very well but i wanted to stress something enough uh, on the board such that we can be on the same page okay now you can since you already watched that video you can now watch this one or if you watch this one and then you go you watch the other one so i'll put these videos in links in the description and also here at the info card okay now uh first of all let's talk about ameter okay let's talk about ameter now this meter here it measures current okay uh and uh, uh these are very common so you will be seeing it has two contacts and normally it looks like this on your panel you will find it on your panel more especially okay now it can be single phase or three phase okay because this uh its job it's you know measuring current only okay so it will depend on how much current you want to pass through the thing you have to be very keen in doing that for example if you have a motor of maybe around uh, 7.5 kilowatt and above which probably would draw around 30 or 25 amps, okay? And the, you have an ammeter, which is maybe uh, measures below 16 volts, I mean 16 amps. So you see that will not be able to, you won't be able to use that because remember, uh, the current has to go through this ammeter because it acts as a wire. You will connect the thing in a series, okay? Uh, the, the other digital way is when we use, you know, current transformer. With that one, no problem. But this one, you have to be, you know, crucial about how you're going to write this. Uh, okay, let's draw a circuit here and see, you know, how it goes. Okay? So, you'll have your circuit here. And then maybe you have a load. Okay? Okay, like that. And then you'll have your L here and your N there. Okay? So this is your load. All right? Now, it could be a light, it could be a single phase motor. Okay? Anything. It could be the entire installation, your house installation. You just want to monitor uh, that, you know, phase current, okay? So what are you going to do? Because this thing, we connect it through, you know, uh, if you want to control the entire circuit, you will connect it to, to the particular circuit that you want to, to measure. If it's the entire, for example, house, then you have to put it uh, before the load cable, Okay? But if you want to give it to a particular circuit like a motor circuit, then of course you have you give it to that very circuit. So you put it between the breaker that controls that circuit. You put it in between. So now here we'll have to break our circuit here. And we have our ammeter right there. And so what you're going to do is, okay, so our current is passing through this analog ammeter, okay, and then it will give us the reading, okay, it will tell us how much current, of course, every time you look, you'll see how much current it is drawing, okay. Now, if you have, uh, okay, now, this is it. Let's talk about uh, uh, the voltmeter, okay? 
Now, this is a voltimeter. A voltimeter, this uh, measures your voltage. It could be single phase or three phase, okay? Uh, for single phase, you connect it between L and N. For three phase, it will be between phases, all right? But, uh, so long as the scale, it, uh, it has the capability of, you know, measuring from maybe zero to 500 volts. So it means that, like this particular one I'm holding, it measures from zero to 500 volts. So meaning that it can work between phase and neutral and between, you know, phases, okay? So, you'll just have your voltimeter here, okay? Like that. And then, okay? So, just like that. So this is your voltimeter, which you'll be connecting across the terminals, or across live and neutral, or across phases, okay? It depends on your circuit. But for the current, it has to be, uh, you know, series. These analog, okay? Now, let's see if it was a three-phase. Now, for, for three phase, let me say you have your, your L1 here, okay? And then you have your L2 here, and then you have your L3 here, and then you have your neutral here, okay? Now, if these are the phases, that uh, you you have and you want to meter them. Uh, if you want to have to monitor each current per phase, then this is installation will be for commercial or for your building so long as it's entering three phase. Then you'll have to monitor each phase, okay? You have to monitor each phase, okay? so that uh, each current goes through this analog meter before it goes to, to the final circuits or to the load, okay? But if, of course, the, the voltage, like, like the way, if you wanted to know the voltage is between, you know, uh, phase one and phase two, okay? Uh, phase two, phase three, and then phase three, phase, okay? That one, you also know if that's what you want. So you'll have... Uh, a voltimeter here, okay, if that's what you want, okay, and then also, you can have yes, so you can check L1, L2, L2, L3, and then L1, L3, okay, oh, Sorry about that. Okay. So L1, L2, L2, L3, and then L1, L3. Okay? Yeah. Like that. So, that's how you, you'll be measuring your, you know, your, your voltage and your current if you're using this analog. Okay? Then, the other thing also that he, you'll be doing if you're giving it to a motor circuit, okay? If you're giving this to a motor circuit, eh? so you have your motor right there. Okay, so you have the phases here and uh, 
this is your motor uh, right here. Now, because this motor here, unlike, uh, you know, when you're supplying the entire installation, but for motors, because these coils are equal in, in everything, you understand? Voltage is the same between phases, so the current also is the same, okay? So that's why we do not put ammeters on each phase. For motor, we will just monitor only one. We we'll monitor one phase, okay? So, like only the ready phase or phase number one, that's where you you you'll connect your your ammeter, okay? And and that's it. Of course, if you want to monitor all of them, that's it. But you you will be getting same, you know, same current, so it's okay. For the other entire you know uh, installation, it is okay to monitor uh, each phase independently because uh, each phase is carrying different circuits, okay? Yeah, that's it. So uh, that's the clarification I wanted to make as per that topic. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. Okay? Thank you very much. Until next time, I'm out. And if there's anything you didn't understood, uh, just put it in the comment section below. So until next time, I'm out.